Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pavna, psychiatrist from Akshaya Medical Center, Vidyaranyapura. Feeling of fear or stress about falling asleep or staying asleep can be termed as sleep anxiety. And sleep disturbance, particularly insomnia, are highly prevalent in the population. And also when the patient is undergoing any sorts of an mental health issues like an anxiety, depression or etc. And there could be several factors which can lead to sleep anxiety. Like patient might be or a person might be going through a lot of physical illness, a chronic illness or pain, depression, anxiety and also as we age on our sleep architecture changes. So when can we say that the person is having a sleep difficulty or sleep anxiety? One is difficulty falling asleep or going to sleep or waking up often in between the sleep that is not able to maintain their quality of sleep and having unrefreshing sleep and next day the person is feeling fatigue, sleepiness or a problem with the mood unable to concentrate. Now how is sleep problem related to anxiety is whenever the person gets into the loop of not being able to sleep and then which sets into an anxiety they will be called it is to be an anticipatory anxiety where as the evening sets in he probably starts thinking whether I will be able to fall asleep or how will I manage with this the whole night. Now what are the signs and symptoms where the person can present with this? One is feeling of nervousness, anxious, then trouble concentrating, fluctuation in his mood, irritability, gastric issues or stomach upset could be few of it. So how do we overcome it or avoid it? One is there are a lot of sleep hygiene which needs to be taken care of and also avoid drinking water during the night time or also avoid taking alcohol and follow certain sleep hygiene and also go to bed only when you're falling asleep and do not overuse your mobile or any of the electronic gadgets and have a sleep time and a wake up time which is very structured and also taking care of your physical health is much more important be physically active and try to avoid stress there are a lot of misconception or myths which is related to doctors starting with sleep medications or and sedatives it is unlikely these are not addictive it should be put only for a certain period of time where we normalize the sleep architecture and also there is something called as in cognitive behavior therapy which is given for an insomnia or sleep anxiety where we teach an individual how do we normalize their sleep structure and architect. Thank you.